What's going on, everybody? Doc, your average gamer guys, back again. Last day on Earth action. We're on our main account here today, and we're finally, finally, I feel very confident. We're doing this today. We are going to max out Port Lab. So we are finishing up at the tail end of the event. We have already knocked out a whole bunch of this. So nothing really to do here, but I did, I did leave the last little sector. So we'll jump in here. Ooh, pass right off the rip. That's the one we want. So we're going to jump in here. We've got our stealth set up. I want to talk about this just really quickly in case anyone's joining us here for the first time when we walk through this action hero is the best, the best thing you can get for Port Lab. It's amongst the best, at least. But we're running action hero. This makes it so our weapons don't miss. This on hard mode is critical. Now, you can complete this without this, of course. And then if you do that, I think you're focusing more on the single shot weapons, the shotguns, the pistols, maybe the sniper rifle. But this just takes this to another level when we have the event going on and we can use the equalizer and you will see how effective it is. So we're going to use action hero here. We've got agility going on. This just makes it so that we basically dodge most of the damage. I am a huge fan of new rules when it's upgraded because it does a tremendous amount of damage to the enemies in every sector after you grab it. So this has been helpful for both B1 and will be helpful here in B2. And then we're grabbing pass because I want to make sure that we get extra items to really just solidify what we're trying to get at today and the beautiful part here is i just stand and hold and shoot and that's it so what we're gonna do we're gonna knock this out i'm gonna run through all the different sectors as well we gotta pick up all the goodies but we are going to be finishing this up today and i am so so very excited this has been what this is one of the few last like true grinds that we have on this account um to get complete there's a few other things still to do there's some there's some base upgrading things there's some plenty of settlement stuff still for us to knock out but when it comes to content and it comes to i would call this a milestone um it's one of the few last ones we have which is super awesome and so i am very excited i apologize i i do apologize i need to apologize too for this uh we posted a video about trying to do this um probably a little while ago couple weeks ago two weeks ago week ago something like that and uh, I genuinely I really genuinely did believe as we were walking as I was walking in to start recording that video I really did think I was gonna be able to get it done I didn't realize that I knew that the requirement for um all of the uh all of the upgrade items it scales as you go up right so the higher level that you end up getting, the more items and points are required, which makes sense, right? It kind of, um, you know, keeps the grind going, but also just, you know, makes it so that, um, you know, you can get some early progress and get some levels early, which is really nice. And then the back end, you know, obviously ends up becoming a little bit more difficult. So the last couple of levels have taken a lot, have taken a ton of items uh to get complete and i really i didn't realize the extent of that um uh, because to be honest with you once we grinded up to get the medicine cabinet um i haven't played this a ton i've jumped in a little bit i'll certainly do it during the event because it's really valuable the uh opening of the lockers or the or the crates upstairs is really good i think they're some of the best crates uh in the game in my opinion so it is worthwhile to open those up but uh, other than that, we were, it didn't really grind too much. We didn't really do too much else with it. And uh, and again, I kind of underestimated uh, how many things, how many, how many different points and how many different items we were going to need to get that done. So I do apologize for that. Um, but we're here now, and I feel very, very confident when we knock this out that uh, we will have this done I can say that with a ton of confidence because we're not just going to rely on these. We did some grinding before this just to make sure absolutely that we have enough points and uh, we'll be in a really good shape by what we pick up here. So we're going to keep working through this. Really, this is where new rules comes in and is just huge. So this last room over here with the spinning thing, this obviously stops 
Um, sometimes this will kill some zombies. You saw that it actually hurt that toxic spewer. So that was nice. This basically knocks these guys out almost completely. We get spewed on one time, but everything there is basically dead. So I'm a big, big fan of new rules. I think it's absolutely awesome. Um, we're going to just use up some pistols here. Pistols are great. I love pistols. I love that you don't miss with the pistol, but you can see again how effective, how effective the equalizer is when you don't miss. Like we just crunch. It is crazy actually. Oh, I got spit it on. Well, that's not good. I have been noticing a little bit of a, uh, a visual glitch with some, some of the zombies that create the circles, you know, like your floater bloaters that will do their smash. The exploder right there. You saw that we lost the, uh, Kind of interesting we lost the the circle for a little while which is kind of weird we got spit on i don't know if anybody else has been seeing that it's just I've, I've i've been noticing it it's been pretty consistent actually so i don't know what that's all about but all right we're gonna swap two fresh ones in here this boss should go down super easy. We'll run through the zones. We'll grab our stuff. We came very, very well prepared for this to knock this out. See, even right there. So weird. I don't know why that's happening. Nobody else is noticing that. Let me know. How odd. I've seen it happen from like time to time before, but this is the most consistent it's ever been. Absolutely crushes. This absolutely crushes. Action Hero is so, so, so good. Now, some of you might ask, when do you get it? It's random. It's random. From everything I understand, it was the literally the last perk that I saw, uh, or one of the last. Now, I think it was the last. Excuse me. I think it was the last perk that we saw that we picked up um, for all of this, which is just crazy in and of itself. But it's so good. If you have it, it is, it is monstrous. This is one of the few areas that I think spending some coins really, really makes this a whole lot easier. Um, I hate to say that, but it ends up being true. I'm going to take... Let me see. Yeah, this is basically spent. Uh, yeah, we'll take these. Use this. Throw this down. Got some armor, got some other things. We are good to go. All right, let's go grab our items here. I usually do this. I keep this till the end. Just make one more quick run through everything. Just makes picking the stuff up a whole lot easier as we get uh, as we get in here. But I did want to showcase to what all we are going to be able to pick up from this. You might be asking why we're bringing some weapons. I didn't look at what our threats are. Sometimes we can get new enemies in the zone. So there can be additional enemies that you haven't killed yet. So this is going to be with the pass. So this is everything kind of boosted up. And uh, we'll see where we land. Total items. I'm also curious to see what happens with this. Uh, once we get to the max level. I'm imagining a world in which we get... Maybe just uh, crane keys? Maybe? We're going to find out. We're going to find out. We're also going to get the coveted uniform, which I'm very excited for. Uh, to really shore up our uniform collection. We're going to hit all these chests here. I also really do like uh, these little um, box with allegiance in them. Ooh, that was a nice one. That was a really nice one. The pass. Pass coming in big here. I like these because we can get chlorophyll. Hopefully. It's somewhat rare, but it is fantastic. Helps us make our seaweed. We need a lot of seaweed right now. 
trying to uh, make a bunch of iodine. So it takes that to get that done. So the more seaweed we can get, the better. All right. We're looking pretty decent on reputation items here as we get in. This is also just, we have been able to just really stockpile a whole lot of cards. And what I need to probably do is just start coming here after the resets and just grabbing, grabbing the lockers. Um, we just, we have a ton, we have a ton. I just you can only open one. Typically when you complete this, when you have like your dogs going on and you get pass, um, very, very consistently, you're gonna get more cards than the 50 to open the locker. So just over time, as you grind through here, uh, you'll, uh, you'll, should notice hopefully that you're seeing a, a a bigger amount and then they could really kind of start to stockpile up on you the other nice part that we are grabbing is flight controllers although i don't need flight controllers interestingly enough uh, a lot of the drone blueprints i'm not saying none of them but a lot of the drone blueprints i have uh, been running across have actually not taken flight controllers which is kind of interesting and it's definitely one of the rarer items that we would see drone parts is much much more needed and uh, outside of t-hub hard to get they're doing very nicely here sorry for the monotony of this but i did think that this was kind of interesting to showcase just so again that you could see kind of the strategy as well as what we're picking up what we're going to be able to finish with there's another hard drive that's really nice Oh, perfect. I wanted to use that anyways. I, you, you might be asking why use the inhalers. Um, I really don't have another good use for them. So, and I have a ton of them at the base. But I just treat them like extra healing items. And that's worked out pretty good. They do heal quite a bit of health, as you probably noticed. And so uh, they can be kind of an in-between between bandages and med kits, which is really nice. We are definitely, definitely going to be grabbing all of this. And i super confident that we are finishing this here today. Let me know down in the comments where you're sitting in terms of uh, Port Lab, Delivery Terminal. Um, I think we've actually surpassed our Delivery Terminal, which we were grinding for a while. Um, we ended up surpassing this with our port lab progress, our Genesis progress, which is kind of crazy. Because I would definitely say that uh, completing the deliveries much, much easier to do on a regular basis, especially if you're a decent way into the game and just have a good stockpile of resources. I can run. Now, if we would have curated our weapons a little bit better we could have grabbed at least this zone on the way through i do also like to wait uh just i this might not be true but i th i think maybe uh that uh, with the pass you get a buff to what you're able to pick up obviously you get additional rooms that are opened uh, but that's why i wait to open all of the chests once we've gotten to the end and i always grab pass last I should note that uh, always, always pass is the last perk that I'm going to grab uh, because you could just run through here. It doesn't cost you any extra energy or anything like that. It just takes you a little a couple extra minutes to run through, grab all your goodies, and then you're in a good spot. This is awesome. So let's go. I'm going to drop a few things off gonna grab a few things but let's showcase what we ended up getting here to finish this up for one full run obviously we cleared that back this whole thing out which is really nice i'm gonna drop these things right in here or maybe i won't let's just get healed up all right drop this 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 i'll take my cards with me this and this this and this okay 
So just in this alone, by running through there, obviously we got some additional supplies and a few things like there that are helpful. We grabbed five hard drives, 30 of the disks, and then we're looking at 46. Plus again, you can see here, so essentially one full crate, 50 cards for each of these, and then we're getting about, you know, a third of a crate or so um, with, uh, with getting through that and completing the whole thing. So that is really nice. Again, you do that, rinse and repeat, essentially consider it about every three runs you'd get an additional crate on top of that. So if you stay really consistent with that, you can have a nice big stockpile of, uh, of crates. And I need to come, like I said, and open them, open some up. So in addition to what we grabbed here for this run, we've already got some on standby. So I've got another good handful here and I feel very confident that uh, this is gonna get it done for us. I should also say that uh, if it doesn't, there's a world in which you just never see this video because I'm not going to do that again. I am not going to troll folks yet again. Oh, looks like I need something else for that. I do need to be making cement too, so I should keep that in mind here. But all right, let's get in. Let's do this thing. Let's finish this up. I'm so very excited for this. All right, so reputation here. We are at level 49. We're on the last level to go ahead and grab our Sigma outfit style. We need 17%. Let's do it. Turn in the easy ones first. Yes. Yes. We did it. We freaking did it. All right, let's see. This is so cool. Nice. Okay, and you do get crane keys after this. So we're at 3%. Let's see. I'm just curious to see what is this going to give us. We got 15 points there. They gave us a percent. And then this should give us, I would imagine, what? 2%? That also only gave us a percent. We must have been somewhere in the middle. All right, let's just drop these in. I doubt. Yeah, we didn't even get an additional level there. All the rest of that only got about 50%. That's pretty crazy. So delivery terminal is probably still going to be better off for us uh, to get some consistency for some crane keys. We have a good stockpile built up, but Port Lab, Genesis Laboratory is finally done. That is so, so, so cool. I'm so pumped about that. We'll take one quick break here. We're going to go throw the outfit on once we get back to the base. So we'll show you that here in just a second. All right, we're at the base. The new outfit, maximum laboratory reputation level. Look at that. Very cool. Very, very cool. Finally, finally done. It, uh, again, long time coming, a lot of grinding. Some things that have definitely helped couple of tips i'm gonna end up not saving that we're not gonna use it i really just prefer this outfit i look it looks really really sweet so that is where we are at i hope uh your grind is going good hopefully you got an opportunity to actually hit this event super super good chance and again don't sleep on the crates if you have the opportunity to do this on hard mode make sure that you're getting in there doing that with regularity obviously during this event you're getting extra carbon composite factory parts that can be super super helpful for your continued progression but again if you could stockpile up your genesis weapons whether that be through the t-hub uh or just going and hitting the sewer up and trying to get your crane keys whatever however you can best to go ahead and get that don't sleep on the regular mode either you can essentially clear that and then that should give you the opportunity to pick up your two uh regular crates and those will typically have five to six uh, between, it's, it's about three or so Genesis weapons in them. Um, that could be a good way if you can at least just get through that to start cycling up and getting a good stockpile of Genesis weapons to help you push through and uh, get done on the hard mode. Um, and they, again, one of the only places I would ever, ever suggest to use coins, if you do have some, if you've been able to grind some or get some through VIP or uh, through just the season pass or whatever, Rerolling your perks, getting some of your best perks, getting some of the perks that I talked about are absolutely fantastic. 
uh, to help in your progress, save your weapon durability, make sure that you can beat those levels and have some success. So um, hopefully you enjoyed. This was a fun one. Thank you so very much for being here. Again, just really excited to share the milestones, right? We don't, uh, like, like I said, we don't have a ton more to go and do until there's another big major content update and something else is added, which uh, hopefully, you know, will be soon-ish, I'm not sure. Um, as they have continued to kind of work on the seasons, I think that's probably taken a lot of the focus at this point, but hopefully we see something soon. But other than that, just wanted to share this with you. Thank you so very much for all the support on the channel. Got our free-to-play series is just rocking and rolling. We're going to continue with our Wasteland Survival Guide. Be jumping into a few topics on that here very soon. In addition, we should be getting back to the raid series and posting raids for your, uh, just for your help, honestly. Just for you to be able to go, go to that playlist if you're doing some raiding and have another place where you can go do some research and hopefully maximize your raids while you go to do that. So thank you again, all the support. Flash some socials, like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube thing, help us get to 10K. Before the end of the year, that's our big goal. I know we got a ways, but every subscription counts. Click on another video for us. Great way to also support the channel. Spend a few more minutes of your day with me. I would really appreciate that. Links in the description for a whole bunch. Join our Discord. Got a last standard playlist over there or channel that uh, pulls all of the direct uh, news and info from the last standard Earth uh, Discord. So if you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on, good place to do it. You can post your some raid screenshots and other cool things that you're doing. Any major milestones, be sure to share those with us and then we've got a couple other channels to go check out all of our magic content has moved to agg mtg if you want to check that out and then we've got our main channel as well subs on those pop them over see what you like if you enjoy it hit that sub button again for us we appreciate it so thanks as always we'll catch you in the next one peace